the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Leaving off last week with Jesus promising the Holy Spirit right before ascending into heaven. This week, we'll be taking a look at chapter 2 of Acts. I'm not going to read through the whole chapter, so you may want to pause the video now and give it a read. This chapter begins with the celebration of Pentecost. Pentecost was a festival celebrated by the Jews. During Pentecost, the Jewish people celebrated God giving them the law and choosing them as his holy people. The word Pentecost means 50, as Pentecost is celebrated 50 days after Passover, or the Seder meal. It was a big celebration, so lots of people were gathered. God used this gathering as a way of making sure that when he sent the Holy Spirit, people noticed. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit appeared as tongues of fire. Imagine seeing that. The Holy Spirit gave the disciples the ability to speak in tongues. Now, like I said, Pentecost was a huge celebration for the Jews, and people would have traveled from all over to be there. They would have spoken many different languages. But every person heard the disciples speaking in their own language. Because of this miraculous sign, Peter was able to share the gospel, and many people started believing in Jesus. God gave a whole new meaning to the Pentecost celebration. It used to be about the gift of the law, now it's about the gift of the Holy Spirit. It used to be about Israel being God's chosen people, now it's about all of us being God's church. Pentecost is considered the birthday of the Christian church. At the end of the chapter, we're told a bit about what this early church was like. So I'm going to read to you guys Acts 2, and I'm going to read it verses 42 to 47. It says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone in need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. That sounds like a church that I would want to be a part of. The church is supposed to be more than just a place we go to learn. It's supposed to be an amazing community of like-minded believers. But during this time, it's hard to connect in the ways that we're used to. But we can still have community even when we can't meet together. So, how can we contribute to our church family during this time? My challenge for you this week is to think about that question. Talk to your family about it. Then, do something nice for someone from our church. Be creative about it and do it anonymously. Let's pray. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this community you have given us. I pray that we would be filled with the Holy Spirit and that you would guide all of us through our weeks. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. See you next week.